بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از پروفیسر ڈاکٹر رضوان جمیل قریشی آئی ایم اسٹارٹنگ لیکچر نمبر تھری آف سسٹم انالیس اینڈ ڈیزائن کورس دیر آر ٹائپس آف میتھڈالوجیز سو ہاؤ مینی ٹائپس آف میتھڈالوجیز وی ہیو وٹ کمس ٹو یور مائنڈ دیر آر ٹو ٹائپ آف میتھڈالوجیز وی ہیو ٹریڈیشنل میتھڈالوجیز and we have modern methodologies. Traditional methodologies are also called predictive methodologies and modern methodologies are also called agile methodologies. So their usage is different depending upon the type or nature of the projects. Traditional methodologies are suitable when requirements are very clearly defined and we have very specified procedures and experienced team members in terms of defining their roles, responsibilities and software companies practicing that methodology to develop medium and large projects. Whereas agile methodologies works on small projects. So here I would like to define the categories of projects and the types of projects. How many categories of projects we have? There are two categories. We have discretionary projects and non-discretionary projects. So what is the meaning of discretionary projects? Discretion means choice and non-discretion means no choice. So what type of projects fall under discretionary? when you have discretion you have a choice for example software companies are working in their specific domains like medical hospital management systems engineering systems financial systems educational systems embedded systems then if project comes that does not fall under their domain. So software company has a discretion, has a choice to say no to the customer. For example, in Pakistan, NetSell company is the leading company and the number one company in Pakistan. NetSell is dealing in financial systems. They have very famous product, LeaseSoft, the leading software which have been transformed into ERP system. What is an ERP system? Enterprise Resource Planning System. It's not elephant, rat and parrot. It's Enterprise Resource Planning System. So how to define Enterprise Resource Planning System? It's a collection of integrated systems to automate the business process of a company and we have very famous ERP systems which are called CORS, C for CAT, O for Oval, D for Tiger, S for Superbag, No, it's commercial of the shelf components, commercial of the shelf systems. So of the shelf components, of the shelf systems are available like the name of the most widely used ERP system, its name is SAP, S for Superman, A for Apple, P for Parrot, so Superman and Parrot are fighting for Apple, no, system, application and products, SAP is a German company that was established in 1972 and Number two is Oracle, Oracle Finance and number three is Microsoft Dynamics and there are some other ERP systems also available in the market. But Netsol Technologies has their customized ERP system for credit application and processing customer contract management, 
for leasing and the second product is insurance systems life insurance car insurance house insurance business insurance so if any customer comes to them that i want to develop an a hospital management system natural technologies has a choice to say no that these are our products if you want to develop system within this domain within these products welcome otherwise thank you very much kurujan haya there is a gate you can check any other company then adam soft is dealing in hospital management system next bridge is dealing in financial system then system limited is also dealing in animations in farms in mobile applications in gaming applications if or technologies is there if they the product comes under their domain they say welcome if not thank you so there is a discretion there is a choice and non discretion when there is no choice from software company point of view like think of any project which is non discretion no choice for software company maintenance project when software company has a contract with the customer there is a contract signed for one year two years so if customer wants any update any upgrade software company cannot say no to the customer and then hukuma projects government change some rules like in saudi arabia there was no vat no tax and then saudi arabia announced initially 5% tax and then 15% tax it was increased so all the companies dealing in kingdom they have to change their systems to introduce vat in each product and there was a date announced before that date they change their systems as per the rules of government so government projects or maintenance projects you cannot say no this is non discretionary no choice is there let's talk about customer point of view hukuma projects are also non discretionary for them they cannot say no to the government otherwise black gmc will come and take them and they will disappear or in pakistan also like black gmc people will come and take you with you take them take you with them then software company point of view no discretion no choice 911 situation or covid 19 situation these were two different situations catastrophic situations for software companies in 911 there was a threat of third world war and president of america bush george w bush j w d w bush said that it's a war between it's a crusade it's a war between christianity and islam and because of that america attacked iraq libya afghanistan they also threatened to pakistan as well president musharraf was there which was a dictator and he say yes to them and pakistan suffered because of that anyhow because of 911 situation when twin tower was hit by unknown people they call it al qaeda or daesh people attack twin tower world trade center in that situation all the investors stop funding the software companies investors stop funding the projects so the customers freeze their projects and then there was no money for software companies no money for projects and most of the software companies have to fire their employees they have no money to pay salaries or rent 
most of the software companies rented buildings ajar in that situation any project comes to them they say yes whether it falls under their domain or not and same is that covid 19 situation when world economy was badly affected and damaged and there were no projects and people were working from home and whole situation was very bad was for software companies for software projects when was to work not ready because there was no travel there was no business only online business was there so only those software companies which are dealing in financial applications they were feeling happy otherwise most of the companies are suffering at that time so this is discretionary and non discretionary from software company point of view and customer point of view then we have types of projects we talk about that agile is suitable for small projects and traditional methodologies are suitable for medium to large projects like waterfall special unified process rapid application model uh, rad model rapid application development model evolutionary spiral model incremental model how many types of projects we have small medium and large i just said so small projects are categorized or divided into types based on size based on the time size in terms of number of lines or number of functions it's not kilobyte megabyte gigabyte terabyte depend upon number of lines or number of functions or number of objects or number of components and the time in terms of how many months you need to complete the projects so small depending upon number of lines if size of the project is less than equal 40000 lines it's called small whereas if it is 100000 less than equal 100000 it's called medium and greater than 100000 is called large project so based on time how many months for example if project will be will be completed with less than equal 6 month it's called small less than equal 1 year it is called medium and greater than 1 year is called large projects complexity is also there to divide the types of projects so we have simple or low complexity projects we have medium or average complexity projects and we have large in terms of high complexity projects complexity will be defined by several ways but i will prefer if you think about it what is complexity level of difficulty to solve a problem is called complexity we have natural intelligence and we have artificial intelligence and we say artificial intelligence if we are able to develop a machine that resembles human behavior so human intelligence is the standard for artificial benchmark for artificial intelligence human intelligence is measured as in terms of experiencing or practicing anything we say practice makes a man perfect and as we start becoming mature or we start gaining our maturity about any problem 
if we deal it first time as a child it is or as a adult it's highly complex for human like car driving like programming coding if we talk about it with the passage of time you become expert and with the practice it becomes average and at a certain stage it is simple or low for you like when you drive in a on a highway or in mountain area jabal first time because i remember my experience when i started driving i drove first time it was highly complex for me and with the passage of time it becomes average and then low same for all problems so same is the type of projects if we as a software company if we deal any project first time it is highly complex for us with the passage of time we have several versions and every new customer comes up with new requirements so something we have existing code and some new code we will write for the new customer at a certain stage we have several versions and most of the customers will fall under those requirements we that we already coded so it's simple or low let me take an example of netsol company netsol company develop leasing software the lease soft product lease soft project first time for bmw germany and it was the first project for netsol in 1990s it was highly complex for them for the team members there was pressure if we fail the company will close will be shut down so there was first time they were coding there were no previous code available no previous components available no library was there then they successfully implemented in bmw because of the success in bmw mercedes benz asked them to have to develop similar system now mercedes benz has some new requirements some new code programmers had to write so the project moves from high complexity to average complexity and then nissan's company was the third customer then yamaha motorbike was the fourth customer then bmw germany to uk uk to usa usa to australia taiwan korea india same is the mercedes same is the nissan same is the yamaha and there are some other other car companies then now from 1996 to 2022 they have 100 plus versions of the same software any new project comes that's all company architect team just match with those requirements with which version is close to those requirements little customization tha 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 thank you very much so that's enough for today thank you very much assalam alaikum may allah bless you have a good day